What? Wasn't that what? wonderful? Now I want to ask some questions. What makes a good friend? It's someone who's there for you when you... That's right. A good friend is always there when you are happy or if you're feeling down. What else does a good friend do? Um, a friend stands up for others. Like, if your friend is being picked on or teased, you should help them. Yes. We wouldn't want to be picked on ourselves, so a good friend will stand up when others are being picked on. That happened to me the other day. Someone called me a name, but Debbie was there and told them that wasn't nice to say those things to me. And what happened next? Well, and what happened think, next? Well, I don't think they were they were happy they got caught, but they stopped. And I'm really grateful that Debbie was there to help me. It wasn't a big deal. I was just doing what someone else. What, what I would want someone else to do if I was getting called names. But Debbie, you didn't have to help and you did. And that meant something to Poppy. That's why you're a good friend. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thanks everyone for joining us. And remember, be a good friend. Bye. 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 All right. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate Miss Sally Supreme, Poppy, Cora, and Debbie for talking to us about how to be a good friend. Next, we are going to be looking at a family and how being connected is important. Mommy. I miss my grandma. When can we go see her? Now is not the best time to visit grandma, sweetie. Why not, mom? See you kids, grandma is older than you me and your mother. She needs to be careful and she cannot go out much or have people over like we do. Grandma must keep herself safe from all the germs out there so she will not get sick. But daddy, I did not.
germs. So how can I get grandma's I have any germs? Everyone has germs, sweetheart. And even when we wash our hands, grandma has a lot more careful. She has to be a lot more careful with germs because when you are older, it gets harder to fight off germs that make you sick. I have an idea, kids. Let's call grandma. Yeah, let's call grandma. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, grandma. Hey, sweetie. It's nice to see your faces. How are you? I'm doing good, baby. Grandma's just sitting here watching my favorite television show. What show is that, Grandma? Golden Girls. What's Golden Girls? My favorite show that I watch even before you or your parents were born, sweetie. Wow, that's a long time, Grandma. Look at my new toy. It's a really cool toy. I miss you, Grandma. When are you going to see us? I will see you soon, baby. Right now, Grandma has to stay inside to keep herself safe from all the germs out there. I understand, Grandma. But kids, you can call me anytime, and Grandma will be right here to answer the phone when you call. You know. Grandma loves you. I love you, Grandma. I love you too. Uh, All right, guys, let's say goodbye to Grandma. Uh, uh, Bye, gra babies. Grandma will talk to you later. Hey, kids, <laughs> how about we give Grandma another call tomorrow? Yes, Daddy. I love you. Yeah, that's cool, Dad. All right. Thank you to our family for talking to Grandma. It looks like Grandma's doing good watching her Golden Girls. That is a great show. Next, we're going to learn how to say no to germs with another family. Okay, everyone, stay six feet apart. Why? We have to because of COVID. What's COVID? COVID is a germ that enters your body and it makes you feel icky. I'm scared. Don't be afraid. Just make sure you stay six feet apart from your friends. But I want to hug friends. Well, you can give them a big air hug like this. How else can I not feel? Well, you can make sure that you wear your mask over your mouth and nose. Can I share my mask with my friends? No, you keep your mask on your face. I should wash my hands. That's right. You need to wash your hands for 20 seconds. That's a long time. Well, we can sing a song to wash our hands with. We can? Yeah. Here, let's sing it together. Wash your hands, do 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 do. Wash your hands, do 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 do. Wash your hands, do 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 do. Wash your hands. Wash your hands, do 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 do. 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 Wash your hands
but you should wash your hands before and after eating, before you touch your face, and when you get home from being outside. That's a lot of times. So, if I wash my hands, wear my mask, and stay six feet from my friends, will I be safe? That will certainly help. All right, thank you for showing us how to properly wash our hands. That's certainly very, very important. Next, we are going to hear from Johnny about how to properly wear your mask. Hello, can everyone see me? So my name is Johnny, and I'm going to show you how to wear your mask. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, and you must wear your mask at all times when you are outside to help to stop the spread of germs, okay? So you just place your mask over your mouth and your nose and wrap it around your ears. And they make them for children as well. You can get them at any local grocery store. Make sure the mask is over your nose and over your mouth. You do not want to wear it underneath your nose or underneath your chin. You must always have it over your mouth and nose at all times and wear it when you're outside or inside when you have, cannot stay socially distant from, when you cannot stay six feet away from anyone that you're not familiar with, uh, familiar with, okay? So once again, you wear your mask over your nose and mouth at all times when you're outside and when you are in a surrounding area where you do not know um, the people, okay? So thank you. All right, thank you, Johnny. Uh, Johnny is a very smart friend and he knows what to do. So thank you for explaining us how to wear a mask. Next, we're going to hear from Dahlia and Amber about how to stay active. I wonder what some of my friends are talking about. Hmm, I think I'll give Amber a call to see what she's up to. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, Dahlia. Hey, Amber. How have been going? It's so good to see I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Hey, Dahlia. Things are great. I've been hanging out with my parents and playing with my dog a lot. We take him for walks every day. He doesn't have to wear a mask, though, like I do, because he's a dog. Me and my parents get to FaceTime with my grandma a lot, too. What have you been up to? Awesome. We've been thinking about getting a dog. I haven't seen my grandma in a few months. I told my mom that we should do that. It would be nice to see her face again. I've been playing with my brother in our backyard a lot. Most of the time, we play tag, hide and seek, and track. He's a lot of fun to be around. Sometimes, I will play with this too. That sounds like a lot of fun. When you guys are playing, how long are you usually outside for? We take our dog for pretty long walks. Sometimes he'll get tired, but my dad brings extra water for him so he doesn't stay thirsty. You know, hours. My mom told me that we try and play outside for at least an hour every day. She always makes sure that we have plenty of water. Your dog. When outside, what do y'all do for fun? 
Sometimes when it rains, my dad will build a fort in our living room. He'll take the seats from the couch, some sheets from the bed, and make a castle. One time he did that, and I had to save my mom from the top. She was locked up, but me and my dad were able to get her out. We had to go from room to room looking for clues until we found the key, and we did it. Wow, that sounds really cool. Maybe me and my brother can do something like that with mine. My older brother can do that. He's the best. Sometimes when it rains, my brother will pick me up and carry me on an airplane. We'll go up off the run. Back on the runway. I remember one time we were flying around the house and my arm here was It almost fell over. Uh, my brother caught it before it hit the ground. That was a close one. I bet. When do you think we'll be able to go back to the park again? I miss seeing you and all of our friends. I don't know. My brother was telling me that as long as a park our mask and wear outside, wear our mask the right way, and wash our hands often, we should be able to see our friends soon. My brother is really smart, so I thought he says. My dad was telling me the same thing. I guess your brother is pretty smart. Let's make sure we do our part so we can see each other again soon. Oh, my mom is cooking dinner and it's almost time for me to eat. So I'll talk to you later. That's good. I should probably get something to eat too. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, thank you, Amber and Dahlia, for talking to us about how to stay active. Next, we're gonna hear from one of our other friends about eating good food. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Ryan. And today we'll be talking about healthy eating. To get you guys all excited about healthy eating, I'm going to start off by playing a song for you. Now, boys and girls, let's make a healthy snack for you to eat. All right, here is how we'll make it. You get a delicious piece of celery and you put some delicious peanut butter and you spread it and you spread it and you stop. Oh, this looks like a log. I need some ants for my log. I'm going to put some sweet, healthy raisins on my log. Now, I'll call my snack Ants on a Log. And it is so good. 
and you didn't even have to ask mom and dad to turn on the stove for you. This is a great snack. And always remember to ask before you get a snack. Thank you for showing us how to make ants on a log. We definitely appreciate that healthy meal. Next, we want to give a special, special thank you to all of our partners today and everybody who helped make this possible. Uh, in alphabetical order, uh, Denisha, Lauren, Sam, Johnny, Jesse, Crystal, Lids, and Tammy, for everybody who helped write a script, everybody who was a puppet master we thank you so much and we appreciate your contributions and we do want to spend or send a special thank you to jenny lehigh as well she was not able to join us today she was actually having some technical challenges due to the storms last night so with that Thank you all so much for joining us. We hope that you had a great time today looking at some of our friends, explaining some really important things to us in regard to how to stay connected to family and friends, being germ-free, staying active, and eating good foods. So thank you and have a great rest of your day.